Hey everybody, back with another video, and today we are going to cover an electric water heater. We're going to go over the wiring schematic and explain how this thing works. Uh, I, know, I know a lot baffles a lot of people, so hopefully you're one of those people. By the time we get through the end of this video, uh, you will completely understand how an electric water heater works. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over the components of the water heater. And let's look, if you can see my... Um, my little wand here. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the outside of the water heater. This this large rectangle is going to represent the actual water heater itself. Now, what you typically have in the, your electric water heater is you have an upper thermostat and element, and you have a lower thermostat and element located under that uh, rectangle cover at the top, bottom, which is typically held in by Phillips screws. So. Once you've accessed those, those um, access points or taken the covers off, what you're going to see under there is on the top section, you're going to have a separate uh, thermostat with a red button and a dial, and you'll also have an element. Uh, the element, uh, this is just a representation. Some screw in, some have four bolts that bolt themselves in. And then the lower section, you're going to have a thermostat and another element. So let's get into the wire real quick. We're going to start at the top. We're going to take this one wire at a time and explain what's going on and how it's all working here. Okay. So what you see here, we're going to start with L1. That's the black wire. So up here, this is your wire coming into the uh, um, water heater, uh, typically fed from your uh, your panel, your fuse block, your whatever you've got, your breaker panel or fuses or whatever. Um, so you got two 110 volt legs, which are 120 volt legs, which would give you your 240. So coming in on the L1 terminal goes to number one. Now this is going through one side of a limit switch, and there's typically that red button right here. So if that, what that is, is there's a, there's a bimetal uh, plate on the back of the thermostat that's sensing the, the tank temperature. And if it gets too hot, boom, it just trips off. So that's what that's for. But when it's closed, the switch is sending power through, and it goes down into number two, comes out and goes back into number one, which is the common leg of a single pole double throw switch. And this is your thermostat. So it's either going to send power to the upper element or it's going to send power to the lower element. So let's look at what's on right here real quick. If the thermostat is satisfied, meaning it does not have a call and it's in its natural or, or normal position, it's going to be normally closed between 1 and 4, okay? So that is the normally closed position, or also could be term terminology used as not a call for heat. If it does have a call for heat, it's going to close one to two. Okay, I'll explain more about that in a little bit. But to follow the wiring down, it's in this on the common leg of the um, single pole door switch. So it's either going to send power to this upper element or it's going to send power to the number four, which if we trace that down here and comes in at the top of that uh, thermostat. So under normal conditions, this thermostat is not calling for any heat. It, it, so when the water heater is totally satisfied, the top, uh, thermostat is sending power down number four and then it's just sitting here waiting for something to happen okay and then when the switch closes it finishes the circuit over to the uh, element now real quick let's uh let's run the the red through here real quick and and this basically does the same thing l2 comes to number three goes over through that Again, limit switch with the high temperature limit switch. There, the, the manual reset. And this red wire just goes all the way down and connects to one side of the uh, lower heating element. And likewise, number four 
all heads over to the other side of the heating element so those that side of things really doesn't do anything it's just the it's just completing the circuit and all the switching is happening on l1 okay all right so now let's get into the operation and again understand that uh when the when the entire tank is satisfied power comes from number one to number four and sits here and waits at number one on the lower element until there is a call for heat so now back to this rectangle here is the water heater if you were to draw hot water off the tank right here at the very top there's a tab that you connect all your hot hot plumbing to other side is cold the cold water side has a has a uh a dip tube that brings the water all the way down to the bottom of the tank so as you draw hot water off the top of the tank cold water is entering the bottom of the tank and you need to understand that stratification happens basically the difference between the cold and the hot water is going to be pretty consistent so as you draw uh, hot water off the top more and more entering the bottom of the tank so once it reaches a point to where the the lower thermostat senses that drop in temperature this switch closes completes the circuit to this lower element <coughs> that will continue to operate until one of two things happens either it satisfies so let's say you draw off a hot water just enough to say do a load of laundry maybe some dishes or something You've drawn off a half a tank of hot water, that lower element will kick on and it will continue to, to uh, be energized until this lower portion of the tank is satisfied for heat again. It shuts off and waits for the next time. But now let's say your, your kid hops in the shower. We all got know that story, right? So they get in the shower, they turn it on, and they're in there for 35 minutes, okay? So what happens is there's a draw off drawing hot water drawing hot water boom we've sent we set this into a uh, call for heat mode and the lower element is energizing water as it's coming into the bottom but the water still continues to get drawn off the top the hot water is leaving the tank and more cold water is entering the bottom of the tank now we get to the point to where the hot water is almost gone or maybe even completely gone what happens then as soon as this thermostat senses that the upper portion of the tank is cold this switch will switch from number one and number four to number one and number two so then it is powering the upper element and what that is trying to do is it's trying to recover the top portion of the tank to make that hot water available for as long as possible all right so now what happens is you stop using water the top element is calling or the top thermostats calling and powering up that upper element and it will continue in that mode there until the upper portion of the tank is satisfied and that thermostat says hey we're temperature we're good and it satisfies and switches back to number four sends power down to that lower element this lower element then because it's still cold this thermostat's calling and is sending power down to this one. So once this thermostat senses that the lower portion of the tank is satisfied, this uh, thermostat will open and everything will just be then sitting waiting for the next call for heat. Okay, That is basically a water heater, electric water heater in a nutshell, and that's the entire wiring schematic. That is the entire operation. There's really nothing more to it. So hopefully, guys, this helped you, gals, whatever, I'm sorry. Uh, hopefully this, this video uh, is a very clear explanation of how an electric water heater works. And, uh, yeah, so if you have any more questions, if you have any comments, please uh, put them down below. Don't forget to uh, like the video and subscribe. And... Uh, and stay tuned for more videos like this. And, and please uh, give me some uh, suggestions of videos um, that uh, that yourself and, and we'll try to get them up for you. So thanks again for watching and we'll see everybody on the next video.